today I want to talk about Rolls-Royce, the global engineering company listed in London. Earlier this year they announced massive write-offs on their new jet engine program and since then the stock's gone sideways. Having run the company through our governance, accounting and peer performance reviews, we're very worried about creative accounting. It seems to us that the business reality is starting to stray from the accounting fiction. If we're correct, the investment outlook for Rolls-Royce is far less rosy than it seems. Now, under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we can't make recommendations, and none of what I'm about to say should be taken as investment advice. However, if you are looking or thinking about investing in Rolls-Royce, we suggest that you have a look at some of the following key areas for consideration. The first thing to think about when you're looking at Rolls-Royce is the bull case. This is all about the fact that jet engines last for around 25 years, and so every time you sell an engine, you guarantee the servicing revenue going forward. The problem with that is what actually is the margin on that servicing revenue? It's not as simple as selling software and providing support. You have to invest in servicing facilities and the actual servicing of the engines is very expensive. The next problem for investors thinking about this is what exactly is that margin? As yet, it's completely unclear. This is because they recently changed their accounting policies. Now, this is in line with the change in standards, but it means that people's understanding of what margins used to be and what margins are today is very different. Moreover, following the write-offs earlier this year, it looks as if they brought forward some costs, again, making it more difficult to predict margins in the future. The second thing to understand about Rolls-Royce is the FX risk. The problem they have is they're massively long dollars, most of their revenues and future revenues are priced in US dollars or euros, and very short pounds because all their costs are in pounds. Now, to solve this problem, they hedge their servicing revenue out about seven years. Great, but what it means is when the pound weakens, they incur massive financing losses on these hedges. And this is one of the reasons why they made massive losses over the last two or three years. The third thing to think about is that jet engines are extremely complex. They take a long time to design and costing and estimating pricing for such things is very, very difficult. This can make it extremely easy for people to overestimate revenue, underestimate costs and so get the profitability completely wrong. This is in fact exactly what happened to Rolls-Royce in the 1970s when it went bust. Now this year is a good example of exactly what can go wrong. Unexpected problems caused unexpected costs and the profitability ends up being much, much lower than people expect. Finally, Rolls-Royce is not as strong as people think. It reports net cash, but much of this is customer advances for services yet to be rendered. When these do get rendered, most of this cash will be used up. What this also means is that the enterprise value corrected for this anomaly is actually much higher than people think and the stock is therefore much, much more expensive. We think these are the key issues. There are several others that we've identified and if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Many thanks for your time.